Welcome to Let's Build. This video will help you to learn the basic as well as technical terms which we use related to supermarket. Hopefully you will learn some useful vocabulary and you will be able to use this in daily life. Let's go into the video. In English, we generally use the term grocery store or supermarket. In French, supermarket is known by supermarché. A grocery store is a retail store that sells food. Most grocery stores sell fresh fruits, vegetables, seafood, meat and other prepared food. A person who controls a grocery store is called a grocer. This video prompts the list of useful vocabulary for supermarkets. First word in our list of new words is aisle. Basically, an aisle is a long narrow gap that people can walk between rows of shelves. Actually, grocery shopping is nothing but it's a personal and unique experience. No two shopping lists are the same. People develop and evolve their groceries to suit their needs and situation. Fact is that there are lots of people, plenty of aisles, tons of tasty treats to spend money on. Let me specify the three things you should know before going shopping. Number one, at first you will grab your pushcart or basket. When you get to the grocery store, locate a shopping cart if you need a lot of items. Second thing is that, when you need to pick a few items, you usually select basket. Basket is nothing but it is a plastic container with handles. Number 3. You should carry reusable bags on your own since plastic bags are banned. Now it's time to peep into the 10 main sections in a grocery store. First category is produce. This may include fresh fruits and vegetables. Moving on to the second category, it's cereals. Box to breakfast cereals and bars, oats, granula etc. are included in this list. Third session is that meat and seafood. This may include packaged beef, chicken, fish etc. Number 4. Snacks. Snacks may include chips, packaged candy, cookies and crackers. This may be eye catchy area for kids. Number 5. Condiments. Condiments include ketchup, BBQ sauce, salad dressings, oil. Salad dressing is nothing but a sauce for salads. Number 6. Beverages. This may include juice, pop, coffee, tea, etc. Number 7. Household items. This may include toilet paper, tissue paper, garbage bags, detergent, diapers, etc. Number 8. Health and Beauty In this session, all beauty products including shampoo and conditioners will be found. Number 9. Dairy and Eggs Milk, eggs, flavoured milk, cheese, curd, yogurts, butter will be available in this section. Number 10. Bread and Bakery This will include bread, muffins, cookies, etc. Now, let's go through the mostly used words related to supermarket. First word in my list of words is Q, since it is a perplexing word for men. A Q line is an ordered group of people waiting for their turn to be served. You could have come across a board on special offer. Special offer is a good deal available for a short time. For instance, a product on sale at half price or three times for the price of two. Convenience store. It is nothing but a small store which stays open from early morning until late at night, selling essentials such as milk, bread, and coffee. Next is checkout. The customers are supposed to pay for their goods in checkout counter. Next word in my list is ST. It's wrong to steal to take something without paying for it. But if someone tells you their new dress was a steal, it means that's a very good thing. Next is canned. Canned food is nothing but it has been sealed or commercially processed and prepared for human consumption. Delicatessen. Delicatessen is nothing but a counter in a supermarket where you can get different types of cheese, whole cooked meat, prepared salads. Before winding up the video, I have a question. Do you know what's impulsive shopping? I promise that you all know it thoroughly. Let me detail it. 
At the checkout counter, you will find things you probably don't need, such as chocolate bars or magazines. The store is counting on you to throw a few things out in your basket. This is what is called impulse shopping. Can you resist the temptation? Please let me know in comments. Thank you all. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe now.